get some help for task 13, very similar to task 12. If you're struggling to melody write, then if you have a look back to my Sibelius mobile app demonstration of how to compose a simple four bar melody, then that will, that will help you. But um, what we need to do is um, compose something that is eight bars long. So if I just draw a sketch here, that's the first four bars, and that's the second four bars there. And um, our um, melody, our eight bar melody, is made up of four two bar phrases. And that first phrase we're gonna call A, and that covers bars one and two. The second phrase we're gonna call B, that covers bars three and four. So the first, uh, the A section, the two bars there, will just be different to the B section. That's all that, that means. Then in bars five and six, we're gonna to return to the A section again. So bar one will be exactly the same as bar five, and bar two will be exactly the same as bar six. And that helps for your, it helps your melody to be a little bit more memorable. Uh, and then finally, we're gonna choose another new section. We're gonna call that the C section because it's different to what we've had before for bar seven and eight. And uh, um, that creates this overall melodic structure of A, B, A, C, with each letter having two bars each. Now, in terms of uh, which notes to put where, for the moment, I'd like you to put the tonic note, so the first note um, of whatever key you're working in, um, at the beginning. Okay, so I'll put T for tonic there. Um, at the end of bar two, uh, I'd like you to uh, use the dominant note. We'll go over what these things mean in a moment. Um, so therefore, in bar five, that's also going to start with the tonic and end with the dominant at the end of bar six. Now, at the end of bar four, I'm going to give you a choice. So you can either end with the tonic or the dominant. At the end of bar eight, I'd like to end with the note that is the tonic note. Here's an example of those things. So if, for example, I'm working in A major, uh, the, the notes of the scale of A major are A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. The tonic is note one, so that's A in A major. The dominant is note five. So if each of these notes had a number, the dominant's note five, um, which in the key of A major is E. So that should give you a starting point. Um, now to, you could put those notes in first if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't particularly matter how long or short those notes are, but I tend to choose longer notes for the ends of phrases um, just because I, I find that um, that helps my melodies to make a little bit more sense. Um, often if you choose a note that's too short, um, you won't feel almost like the, the musical benefit of that before it then moves into the next part of the melody. Okay.